The hard thing for the religious right movement is that they are trying to piss on the rights of every American every day. We've got this crazy election thing still going on, and I'm sitting there going, what's the problem? That whole situation of having the election on a certain time schedule worked for most of us forever. Why do we need to fix it? Why do we need to interfere with it? Why did someone decide they were going to abuse it? Why did they prevent the election? You see, I don't understand that because it's something that has worked for us. So why do we have people doing this? It's because they want to be abusers of us. They want to ruin what works, take away what doesn't, but then they want to replace it with more shit that doesn't work. And that's not right in any way. In America, we have rights. And our rights involve civil obedience. Civil obedience says, I'm not going to be a pill or a problem for anyone in the world. When I become a civil disturbance, when I become an abuser of other people's rights, then I take away my own rights in every way. When you make a phone call for something, you better have the right to do it in the first place. Most of the time, people don't. Most of the time, people feel a threat, but it's a lie they've told themselves. There's no threat. It's just a person spouting off. It's a person having a bad day. It's a person rendering an opinion, and yet you want to hurt them in every way. And in doing so, you take away your own rights to the future because that person can turn around and sue you into the motherfucking ground. And that's the truth today. The lie you tell yourself is that I'm in control, and that's the lie you tell yourself. The only person that you are in control of is you. And if you choose to harm another person, then you've taken away your rights to freedom. You've taken away your rights to empowerment. And we do make mistakes. It's true. We say things we don't mean. It's true. But truthfully, most people won't go after you because they can recognize when you're having a bad day. So if you're having a bad month, if you're having a bad year, if you're having a bad five years' time, whose fault is that? It might be your own fault, or it might be you saying, you know what, I'm just going to ride this wave until it's done, and then I'm going to get back to life. But it could also be a group of people trying to harm you and keep you out of life, and that is immoral, especially before the Lord, because God gives us a life, He gives us the work, He gives us the strife, and we need to learn in order to move on further and better in the earth today. When I talk about these things, I'm not trying to be a marvelously rhyming guy, but what I do know is that people like to lie. And when people lie, other people get hurt. 